everybody. Welcome to another Live with Children. We're here in Akima. It's the afternoon of day one, and I'm done with my good friends at Stobie Robotics. Really nice. And Jean and Laura are going to tell us more about what Stobie Robotics are doing here this week at Akima. So, first of all, Rudy, Julien, bonjour. How are you? How are you? That's a good talk, actually, I should say. Sorry. I'm doing really great, Rizwan. A pleasure to, to talk to you again. Thanks, and hello, everybody. Thanks for being there. It's lovely to see you both. Now, first question, we're into the afternoon of day one. How's Akima gone so far? We expected a good start today, and I must say it was more than expected. It was really, really busy, and uh, it should be like that, yeah, because we prepared a long time now for this show. We showcase a lot of new stuff here, and uh, yeah, we are really excited. Brilliant. Now, uh, for people not familiar with Stobie Robotics, though, can you give me a quick overview of who you are and what you do? Yeah, Stobli is a Swiss mechatronic multinational company. We are around 7,000 people and we have four divisions. And one of these four divisions is the robotic division where we belong to. And uh, today on this Achema show, uh, or let's say this week, we, we try to really showcase the, the latest developments we, we, we did in the uh, Stobli robotics. And this time, not only stationary robots this time and therefore Julien is with us we show also the new mobile robotic solutions for the pharmaceutical industry brilliant so let's talk about the solutions you've got for pharma then i know you've got some robots behind you so tell me more about what you're showcasing this week yes so here behind me you see our brand new pharma offering so yeah. this is our new portfolio we completed this uh, finally, and you see here uh, the first type, this we call Access Pharma. This is a specific robot uh, for the non aseptic applications, but still with some hygienic elements. Uh, we designed this robot for IPA cleaning, which is still required in these lower classified pharmaceutical areas. So you cannot use really standard robots. You need really robots which are cleanable. Right. And this Access Pharma is now brand new and available. Right. Next to it, you see our well-known Stericlean. We have more than 2,000 installations worldwide in isolator environments. This is usually the robot we use in clean room class ISO 5. So it's fully cleanable. It's uh, uh, decontaminatable with VHP, so it's H2O2 resistant, and this is really, it was long time our blockbuster. And next to it is our new high class, high level model. This is the Stericlean Plus, so this is uh, designed according to all new uh, hygienic uh, uh, requirements, and this is the top class model for isolator use in the future, so also cleanable resistant to 15 different detergents used in the pharma industry and especially H2O2 resistant. Fantastic. Now, I know that you have launched something new here this week. Is that correct? Yes, that's absolutely correct. We have the world premiere of our first mobile robot designed for ISO 5. And Julien will explain you a bit more in detail, but this is an essential part of our future pharma offering because we think that the pharma uh, industry is just in the beginning when it comes to mobile robotic solution, intralogistic solutions. We are far behind the automotive industry and it seems the pharma, the pharma world is catching up and therefore we developed this product together with a, a, a very, very big and well-known pharma company, which uh, Julien will explain you in detail. Right, Julien, so if you'd like to take me through to the, yep. the new product. Yeah, please follow me. So let's put it like this because it's quite busy at that time. So hello everyone. So what we have done, actually we are working since now 2022, so two years now with a key partner, Novo Nordisk, we develop a modular, collaborative, and easy to clean mobile robot yep. for the pharma industry. So we want to address the grade A, B, C, and D in the mobile robot in the pharma industry, and that's very important for to do so. Uh, what is very important also to understand is that the main pain point of the pharma industry when it comes to mobile robots is actually the access to the wheel to make sure that there is no contamination at all. Right. That's why we succeed to do that. And that's why we are proposing here to showcasing now uh, to Arema Show the first world premiere mobile robot for clean room environment in our booth here in Stobli. Fantastic. And I understand it's a prototype here at the moment, isn't it? Correct. Yeah, prototype. Right. Yeah. So, viewers, if you actually want to see it, you have to come to the booth. Exactly. To see it. Yep. All right. Okay. Now, um, 
Shall we move back to the other one? Because yep. I don't want to accidentally no, yeah, show the robot. No, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> this is... So I've got a couple of other questions for both of you though. Yep. So that's fantastic. Um, and also I know that you've also got some talks going on starting today, haven't you, with different collaborators. So I suppose one question a lot of people look at is that that's fantastic, you've got great robots, but there are other people who make robots as well. So what makes Stobie Robotics unique and why should people work with you rather than some of your competitors? Yeah, this is a, a very good question. and. Uh, Frankly speaking, we ask this to our customers as well. Um, and uh, I mean, Stäubli is a, a pioneer in the industry. We are working in these kind of environments with our robots almost 20 years now. We got a lot of experiences. We have a worldwide big customer base. And I mean, if you walk around during uh, or to all these halls here, especially this one, you find Stäubli robots everywhere. So we uh, showcase not only on our booth our solutions, you find this everywhere. All these uh, well-known machine builders use usually a Stobli Robotics uh, in these kind of environments. That's fantastic. Uh, do you want to add anything, Julian? And yes, and uh, just to add on the top of what uh, Rudy uh, said, uh, what makes us unique in a sense that we are also willing to listen to customers and that's why we were in touch with Novo Nordisk at that time for two main reasons, because we, in one hand, we do believe that we have a unique expertise in pharma industry that we want to transfer into our mobile robotics, first point. And second, we need to understand the application, so we need to start collaborating with, uh, with end user to understand the need to develop the right product and not the other way around. Yeah. Fantastic, well look, Rudy, Julian, it's lovely to see you both. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic Akima, I'm sure you will do. And viewers, if you're here, then please don't miss their talks, which they've got live every morning. Started today, so you missed the first one, but I think it may be available on demand, I'm not sure. But certainly tomorrow and Wednesday, they've got some great talks planned, as well as obviously see the secret launch for yourself, <laughs> as well as the whole portfolio within Pharma. If you can't do it, though, obviously, follow them on LinkedIn. Their followers are growing every day, and go to their website as well and learn more information there. And there are lots of many other events throughout the year, so you can see the robots for yourselves in person. So, Rudy, Julian, it's lovely to meet you both. Yep. Have thank a great show. Thanks a lot. And viewers, thank, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. Thanks.